So what's going on with Biden's plans for inheritance tax? There's a lot of talk about the changes that they're trying to implement. I'm gonna try and simplify it a little bit. That's what I'm talking about today. Stick around. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley and I specialize in selling houses. I help people get their houses ready to sell and get them top dollar. And with that comes a lot of people that have inherited properties and they are always worried about the tax implications. Currently, we have something that's called a step up basis for tax purposes, which means let's say just keep it round numbers. Your parents paid $100,000 for their house back in you know the 70s. And now that house is worth two, $2 million. That's not far fetched, right? So with a step up basis at the time of death of your parents, or the last parent that passed away, let's say the value is around $2 million. That's called the step up basis for tax purposes. So you will then pay capital gains taxes on anything above that number, depending on how long you hold on to the house for. So what the new tax plan is talking about is removing that step up basis. So you would be responsible for taxes between $100,000 and 2 million. So that's a lot in taxes. And right now it's 40% tax on inherited things, assets. So that step up basis is crucial to helping you minimize your tax implications. That also applies for businesses or a stock portfolio. There's a step up basis. What was the value at the time of your parents passing? So for all of those things, the step up basis would be eliminated. And right now the value of all those assets up to $11.7 million for individuals can be tax free. And I know that sounds like a lot over $10 million, but that can be accrued very quickly here in Silicon Valley. Let's just say your parents owned one house, possibly had a rental property. Both those properties are $2 million. Let's say they had a stock portfolio worth a couple million dollars. And what if they owned a family business worth a few million dollars? It adds up fast, but $11.7 million was, is still great. That's for an individual or it's like $23 million for a couple. So that, that is pretty great. But in 2025, that gets lower to $5 million for individuals or 10 million for a married couple. So that will really impact a lot of people. Again, anything above that will be taxed at 40%. Actually, they're, they're also talking about raising that to at least 45%. So if your family has some assets it's something to really be prepared for. What is there to do about this? I wish I had a magic answer for you, but what I am encouraging everyone to do, if your parents are still alive and they do have some significant assets, is talk to your CPA, talk to an estate planning attorney, and get a plan in place because things will be changing. They're also talking about if um, and for investors out there, maybe if your parents owned multiple properties that in the past they've been doing 1031 exchanges. So maybe 15 years ago, they bought their first rental property. It was a, you know maybe a condo. They sold that, used a 1031 exchange for tax protection and bought a single family home. What they're talking about doing with that 1031 exchange is that you would have to go back to the original value of the first asset that your parents bought, so that condo, because they avoided taxes by using a 1031 exchange all these years, but then you will be responsible to go all the way back to what their original investment value was until now. So that could be drastic as well, especially if they own multiple properties. I doubt that one will go through. I just feel like it's gonna be really tricky to sort through all properties if they did multiple purchases over the year, but it's something you know on the table right now to talk about. Well, right now, they're also talking about by removing the step-up basis that when you inherit a property, let's say it's a $2 million property, your parents paid the $100,000 originally, so you have almost $2 million in tax implication that regardless if you sell, that tax year, you have to pay the 40, 45% inheritance tax, whether you sell the property or not. So if you were hoping to keep it, maybe move into it, you, you have to pay that inheritance tax, whether you sell it or not. 
So again, I really encourage everybody to talk to their CPA, talk to an estate planning attorney, and just really have a plan in place. Don't be afraid. We don't even know if it's going to happen, so I'm not trying to freak you out. I'm just trying to help you be aware of what, what possibly could be coming and look for ways to protect some of your inheritance. So that's that. I am Annie. I'm here to be a resource. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. And until next time, have a great one.